Hello everybody and welcome to our first of a multi-part series. Every week we'll be reviewing a custom LEGO minifigure, either a combo, which is of me taking multiple companies' parts, throwing it together and making a cool figure, which this one is, or a custom printed figure by myself or another company, or just a LEGO figure showing you guys some of the highlights. So let's get into this first review. guys so here we have an APOC drifter style minifigure apocalypse has happened the zombies are coming out and this guy's ready to rock and roll and kill some zombies so let's get into more detail on basically what parts I used why I use them and just the general gist of the figure alright so first off it has a rust colored M16 with grenade launcher underneath it and that's a prototype weapon a very cool weapon as you can see there also, we used a kind of a longer hair piece in reddish brown. Reason being is, you know, in the apocalypse, you're not gonna have time to shave your hair or, you know, cut your hair, depending on the situation you're in. That's also why I gave him the bearded head because I thought that was kind of, you know, an overgrown survival survivalist look. Also, he has the Lego rubber band. Now, those are great if you're wanting to add a bandana type thing to your figure around your neck to cover up kind of that neck gap. Definitely covers up that gap, makes it look really awesome. And then we have a, I believe it's a rifleman vest, which is really cool. As you can see, turning it all the way around. There we can see the hair piece once again, the vest, and we actually have a bunch of elements on the back here. We have a shotgun shell and a tactical vest there, and the vest actually comes with a holster. Now in that holster we have my own G18 pistol. You can get that on my website, link in the description. Rotating it some more over here, we have him holding a spare magazine. That's a 30 round high capacity magazine. And then under that you can kind of see some pistol pouches for his Glock 18 because that thing goes through a bunch of ammo. Also he has my custom printed pocket legs which add a little more detail. Just kind of the generic jean look with that light gray, grayish blue. Also. We have gloves, which are just some standard dark bluish gray, you know, just hand pieces. Then we have just light flesh, arms, kind of an exposed tank top there. As you can see, the white torques are underneath, giving it kind of a tank top look with a t-shirt type deal. So overall, that is the figure. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this overall figure. Now this would classify as a combo because I took multiple people's parts and made one cool figure. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll be doing this weekly, so whatever day this is, we'll be doing it every week, as long as we can, and let us know what figures you want me to review, and I'll try to do my best. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.